Welcome to part 3 of the Photoshop tutorial. Now that we know how to superimpose crop images and use some of the basic functions of Photoshop, we will now start to explore some of the filters that Photoshop has to offer. One of the nicest things about using Photoshop is that you can create cross-curricular lessons that your students will truly engage in. In this final lesson, we will use some of the techniques that we already know to create an impressionist piece of artwork. I like to discuss art appreciation and art history with my students leading up to this lesson and I show them numerous pieces of artwork from various impressionist artists from around the world and throughout history. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up a rich landscape background. Once you have your landscape open, you can start to explore how some of the different filters work on that landscape. You can create beautiful mosaics, stained glass art, charcoal pencil, and numerous other filters to drastically change your final image. This is by far the easiest activity I have shown you so far. The only thing that you need to do to create an impressionist painting is to go up to the filter drop down menu go over to the artistic drag across and go down to dry brush once you click on that you'll open up a dialog box from here you can change the brush size the brush detail and the texture what I'm going to do is move my texture right over my brush size I want nice and thick and my brush detail maybe a little bit less. Once I hit OK, it changes my final composition. The more you adjust the settings, the more impressionist it becomes. As you can see from this final product, it creates a very interesting composition. Use this last lesson as a time to engage your students in all the different possibilities with Photoshop filters. Thank you for taking the time to listen, and I hope you enjoy all of the possibilities that Photoshop has to offer.